Hi, this is Keith with Alien Drones. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Always appreciate it. Today I want to talk about something that uh, aspiring YouTubers need to know. Talk about tripods a little bit uh, for holding your cameras, your phones, things like that. On kind of what's important. Uh, I just purchased a tripod and uh, I did a little research and, and wasn't really sure what I was looking for. So today I thought I would go through a little bit of the things that I found were important, some of the important factors of tripods. And then I'll go through the one I bought just a little bit uh, so you can kind of see how I applied uh, that. But so uh, without further ado, here we go. All right, so first of all, I just bought this tripod and uh, this happens to be a GWN SSH tripod. If anybody out there knows how to pronounce that, uh, that would be awesome. I appreciate it if you could let me know because Gwynish, uh, I don't know, names without vowels don't seem to roll off my tongue very easily. Uh, but I brought this tripod and uh, I'm gonna kind of talk about a little bit why I bought this one. In going through it, I'll talk about the items here so kind of know uh, how I ended up where I did. So. Number one thing with a tripod that you want to make sure, uh, because you're setting some expensive equipment likely on it, uh, is stability. You want to make sure that it's, it's sturdy enough, has some big enough kind of uh, components here uh, that when you actually set your equipment on it, it's actually going to be stable. Not only for uh, keeping your equipment from falling over, but actually when you're taking shots, uh, that it actually uh, isn't vibrating and shaking and giving you some uh, you know, inferior video as well. So the second, second thing that kind of goes along with that stability is the weight rating of the tripod itself. So again, they all kind of have the rating, some are one pound, some are five pounds, some are 20, 30 pounds. You want to kind of match that to whatever you're doing. Now this one, uh, this uh, Gwynish is uh, like a 22 pound uh, weight rating. It's a little higher than I need for most things, but I wanted to make sure I had enough. Uh, I did have an incident where I had a cheap old tripod I was using for years and uh, I had a camera that I purchased uh, kind of tip over real slow, I kind of wanted the legs collapse because it just just wasn't made for the new camera. I used it for a while for phones, it was fine for a little cheapy camera. But when I got a decent, nice camera on it with a big zoom lens, uh, it did kind of hit the dirt on me. Uh, so make sure that uh, the weight rating of the tripod is also appropriate for what you're doing. So the third is going to be the collapsed size, uh, the, the size itself and the collapse size. So. Uh, size first is going to be where the tripod actually sits, how far up it's going to be uh, for your height. And typically it's based on your height and what you're going to use it for because they do have little tabletop ones that work pretty good if that's all you're going to be doing. But if you want to stand or have a little bit better shots, you're always not staring down at a camera. Uh, then you get one that's kind of about your height or so, you know, 50, 60 inches is usually a pretty good average. And uh, so I bought one, this, uh, this Gwinnish is, is uh, 60 inches, 66 I think when it's all fully extended. And of course that has to go into the stability because the higher the tripods get, inherently less stable they become. So you want to make sure it's kind of as high as you need it, as tall as you need it. But then again, make sure you keep the stability in mind so that a little wind comes along and doesn't tip it over. A lot of them do have, like uh, this one in particular, I'm going to kind of flip this apart a little bit so you can kind of see what I'm looking at. Uh, so this will be actually upside down when I do this. There we go, we'll flip this just so we can kind of see it here. So we do this and now this is the top. There we go, okay. So uh, the thing that's on the bottom here is there's a little, if I set this up, there's a little hook down here. You can see that hook? So that hook is so that you can actually hang a bag or something like that to help uh, with the stability. So uh, that's something to kind of look for as well. So when you have the thing there, if a wind does come along, you have a backpack full of something, rocks, books, whatever, uh, it'll actually uh, help you because uh, this little hook will keep it from falling over. So uh, that's part of uh, the, the weight rating and the stability as well. Uh, the other thing, and you just saw me kind of fold this up and I could have probably should have done this first, is the actual collapse size. Now you'll notice that this one actually, when you collapse this up, is actually pretty good. That's one of the reasons I got this as well. So the reason the collapsed rating is important is because when you do this, you want to carry it around and the size here, this end from end to end like this, is really important that it's uh, decent so you can carry it along, strap it to a backpack, whatever. If it were twice this size, it gets much more cumbersome, especially if you're going to hit an airport or anything like that. So uh, keep in mind that when these collapse, uh, these have this, this particular one has this kind of uh, inverted where the legs go up along the body like this. Uh, 
that really helps it collapse down. This one collapses down to about 16 inches, which is pretty decent. So uh, next thing is the head type. So basically there's a couple of types really that, that, we would, that I, I considered, and that was a ball head and a pan tilt type head. So here is, here is the actual ball head itself for this particular one. I'm gonna set this up here so we can see it. So this ball head, you can see here, there we go, has uh, some ways to tighten this up. And here's the ball head that's really important here. So here's where it is, okay? So here's this ball head. So what I've heard is that uh, when you're looking for ball heads like that, you know, what you've always heard is uh, typically true. Uh, ball head, bigger the better. Yeah, right, I know. Uh, but this particular one is uh, larger than most. And what that does is gives you a little more stability, a little more surface area. And then the second part of the ball head that's important is the actual uh, rotation itself, the pan. So this particular one here, you can see it has this pan here. This is fluid filled. Uh, so, the, so the fluid in here uh, keeps this rotating very nice. So when you actually have this in the, the setting here and you're actually rotating this back and forth, it's incredibly fluid. So you put a camera on top of it, it's just smooth. You can feel it, it's just a really nice. Some of them have a lever on it so you can kind of pan back and forth when you're doing that. Um, but I found that I don't really need the lever, uh, but having this pan like that once you put your camera or your phone up here is really awesome. This is incredibly smooth. So uh, that's the next thing as well is the pan capability and the size of the ball. And then the next one is actually the uh, leg locks themselves. Now you'll notice on this particular one, the leg locks here are these nice dandy little flips. Uh, there are some that have the screws, and I'll kind of zoom in here a little bit as well. So you have these little locks that snap down here. Those are really slick because you just pretty much pull them out, lock them up, and they're good. This leg is nice and stable. So you can do this out, you pull this thing out here, and away we go, okay? Uh, these are the type I prefer. I really like these part way up. You can set these uh, and it works really nice. Uh, there's some that are the screw types, kind of like this. They look like this, but they're the legs. I don't like kind of cranking on them. I, nice, I like when you kind of just flip these. It's really simple. I'm gonna collapse this leg up. There we go, done deal. Uh, no fooling around, you don't know. You know definitely that it's done. Uh, so I like these type of ones. So uh, I would, uh, in my research, I looked for these snap leg locks instead of, instead of the screw ones. Last is the feet itself. Uh, make sure there's some nice rubber feet on here. Okay, well, these are really rubbery and nice and they're kind of shaped really well uh, so that uh, they sit on the ground nice and level. And then of course the last one which everybody uh, knows about is price. Uh, so the price is important and uh, because there's no sense spending a thousand dollars. Yes, you can do a thousand dollars on a tripod quite easy. Um, you can do a couple thousand dollars on a tripod. I found that a lot of them were seven, eight hundred dollars, depending upon what you were looking for. Uh, this particular one, which I think, again, I think this one is dandy. Uh, this is really a nice tripod. I really, uh, really like it. It sets up really well. It travels good. Uh, and this one was sixty-six bucks. Uh, so uh, I would recommend if you're if you're looking at a tripod uh, for to be a YouTuber here, you can't beat sixty-six bucks for something at this table. It is it is solid. Uh, it is well built. I've contacted the manufacturer a couple times. They will send you spare heads, uh, no, spare adapter plates uh, so that you don't have to take it off your uh, camera all the time. You can kind of switch between cameras if you have those. And they'll give you this plate here. Uh, these, they'll give you additional ones of these. Uh, so uh, it's been, the manufacturer is really good. So I can't really go wrong with this for 66 bucks. So, so that's, that's all I have to say. Uh, anyway, hopefully it was useful to you about tripods. I know it's not quite a, a very sexy, uh, subject, uh, but it's a, one of those necessary evils, I'm afraid. So uh, if this was useful to you, as always, please subscribe, hit the bell so you know when new stuff comes up and uh, like the video. I always appreciate it. So until next time, good flying.